everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm Heikyu Park from Georgia Tech. I'm very excited to present Bluff, a visualization tool to interactively decipher adversarial attacks on deep neural networks. Deep learning is now commonly used in many domains. For example, in the medical field, deep learning models can estimate the treatment effects on patients. On the road, we can see self-driving cars using computer vision technologies. However, deep learning models are vulnerable to adversarial attacks. An adversarial attack applies carefully crafted perturbations on data inputs and fools a model into making incorrect predictions. Adversarial attacks jeopardize many deep learning based technologies, especially in security and safety critical applications, such as data driven healthcare and self driving cars. Due to the threats of the adversarial attacks, people cannot confidently use deep learning models. To overcome the vulnerability of deep learning models, we need to understand how the adversarial attacks permeate the model's internals. Also, for a better understanding about adversarial attacks, it would be worthwhile to examine if and how an attack strength changes how the model produces incorrect predictions. For example, it would be useful to know if a stronger attack exploits the same neurons as a weaker attack does, or if those sets are completely different. We present Bluff, an interactive visualization tool for discovering and interpreting how adversarial attacks mislead DNN into making incorrect predictions. Our main idea is to visualize activation pathways within a DNN traversed by the signals of input data. For given input data, an activation pathways consists of neurons that are highly activated and the most influential paths. Activation pathways represent what features are detected and how those features are related to contribute to the final prediction. To understand how the attacks manipulate the neurons and the paths inside the models, Bluff visualizes the activation pathways of both benign inputs and attacked inputs. That is, Bluff finds and visualizes the most activated pathways given benign and attacked input data. Bluff also visualizes the most inhibited paths by the attack to uncover where the attack is blocking the signals to the benign path. Also, Bluff visualizes the most excited paths by the attack to uncover where the attack stimulate to induce the activation pathways going towards wrong directions. The Bluff interface tightly integrates three coordinate views. It consists of control sidebar, graph summary view, and detail view. Here, a user inspects why a deep learning model misclassifies adversarial giant beta images crafted by the projected gradient descent attack as armadillo. In the main graph summary view, we visualize the activation pathways of benign and attacked input data. Here, each vertex represents a neuron. When hovering over a neuron, Bluff shows the detailed information of the neuron. The detailed view for a neuron shows a feature visualization and example data that visualize what feature the neuron is detecting. For example, for giant panda images, this neuron looks for face of animals that have white furs and dark eyes. Feature visualization is a synthesized image that maximizes the corresponding neuron's activation. Dataset examples are patches of images from the training data that highly activate the corresponding neurons. We also show how the neurons median activation to change according to different attack strengths. Here in the graph summary view, the neurons are represented with different colors based on their roles. The green nodes are the most important neurons only for the original class giant panda, which means they are highly activated by benign giant panda images. The blue nodes are important neurons only for the target class armadillo. The orange nodes are the most important neurons for both original and target classes, giant panda and armadillo. 
The red nodes are the neurons that are highly activated by only successfully attacked images. These neurons are exploited by the attack to induce the incorrect prediction. By exploring the activation pathways, PGD successfully perturbed pixels to induce the brown bird features, an appearance more likely shared by an armadillo than a penna. Both armadillo and brown birds have small, roundish, and brown bodies. The brown bird neuron then contributes to the armadillo misclassification by activating more features such as scales, bumps, and mesh. By using the options in the control sidebar, users can interactively filter the neurons and connections to visualize. For example, they can select to visualize our graph or only highlighted neurons or only pinned neurons. By using the highlight pathways options, users can select which activation pathways to visualize such as most activated or most inhibited, excited, or most changed by the attack. By using the comparison mode, users can compare how attacks of different strengths have different activation pathways. In summary, we developed Bluff, an interactive system to understand how adversarial perturbations fall on the deep learning model. Love visualizes most activated, inhibited, excited activation pathways after the attacks and provides flexible comparison of attack escalation. Thank you all for listening. I'm happy to take any questions.